to the show called uh, Paw Patrol, which is a cartoon show for kids uh, where dogs are the uh, characters that uh, are su superheroes. Uh, not like not like the Batman or or like the, the Justice League or like the Avengers. Uh, it's like uh, basically uh, the char the dogs are basically they're like a dog who is uh, a fireman, a dog who is like a police officer, and a dog who is a fireman, and, uh, the medic, and then there's like a dog who does, does other tasks, and then uh, humans uh, are in the show, but they're like who work for the dogs and uh, basically do the assisting, and uh, you know, the well loved by people based off like. Published by Nickelodeon or Nickelodeon Kids. Uh, so well uh, live with us. Sort of well loved by kids, although kids uh, love the other Nickelodeon shows. Uh, and then they are releasing like a new uh, special and movie, uh, and some of the voice actors and actresses. Uh, Include a Kim Kardashian, uh, so you know the Kardashian Jenner clan. You know we hate hearing about uh, what Kim, Chloe, Courtney, Ka no, Kendall, and uh, Kylie are doing, or whatever, whoever's that they're married or dating, or whatever drama they're causing. But we're talking about Cop Pock Patrol here. But not the Kim Kardashian part, but but also uh, one of the kids, uh, the voicing or something. But uh, probably the worst one that people don't like is that they're. The show introduced a non-binary kid uh, character, and one of its spin-off shows, the uh, Rubble and Crew. So uh, the crew builds an observatory, uh, so which uh, the English bulldog uh, character uh, welcomed the so-called non-binary character named River into the mix. Now, remember, we're talking dogs here. Dogs are or either male or female, and we're species. They have to be either male or female, or whatever species they are. Small, uh, medium sized, big, or really big. Like Siberian, or really small, like a Chihuahua. There is no L, no LGBT thing regarding dogs, but some people think they need to throw LGBTQ into shows where featuring that it's about animals that are basically the characters and animals are not LGBTQ. It's a literal thing. Even in nature. You don't hear about the nature of animals in the nature being gay or lesbian or transgender. Do you? Or by bisexual. It is not a thing. Why do people think they need to assume that this is a real nature thing or need to put this in cartoons because they're so sensitive or feel need, that need to be represented in a cartoon show that it's about dogs like being uh, superheroes, uh, doing uh, heroic stuff, uh, you know, save lives of uh, people, 
there's a oh there's a, a, a human and stuck in an apartment building. If there's a fire and then the fire and you know, the fireman dog shows up, and then uh, you don't know, get the ladder and uh, and then they grab them by their teeth or and then also uh, get the rope and uh, you know extinguish the fire and uh, get the human to safety or the police dog and uh, make sure that the human is safe and uh, catch the criminal and then uh, and then the medic dog uh, make sure that the human is safe that's what the show is about why does LGBTQ need to be thrown into this this is just crazy why do people think they need to put something like this in a, a cartoon show? Maybe Disney did it with uh, maybe DuckTales. 2017, there was uh, that alien, that Martian uh, character who uh, she's a uh, lesbian but uh that's different she literally acts like a human and uh that's a different case but we're talking about like animals here like we're not talking about like characters that act like humans uh we're talking about animals here Humans and animals are a complete different thing. Not the same thing. Why do we need to put stuff like this? And guess what the person uh, said. Uh, so there's a person uh, named uh, Lindsay uh, Amer who uh, runs a YouTube channel, Queer Kid Stuff, uh, who uh, talked about uh, the character uh, Rivers inclusion on an Instagram post. Uh, they brought me from to consult on the first non-binary character, Meet River, for uh, Power Paw Patrol that uh, universe and write their episode. So she, she's the one who wrote the episode and uh, talk about the uh, bucket list item. So a uh, content character also the creator also discussed the subtle acting with uh, River, including the the dogs. Uh, Featuring the transgender uh, flag colors, uh, which is uh, blue and uh, white and uh, pink, uh, so it's bright colors. So the episode sort of looks like this. Built in the observatory. So the, when the episode is like starring on the TV show, that that is what you're going to see in the... Uh, first thing and then there's going to be like the list of like casting casting crew and then uh who produced it and that kind of stuff and then like first uh maybe 10 seconds and then uh, and then the episode starts and then uh as he says i wanted to write a non-binary character that was aspirational and incredibly cool some one for the pups and kids at home to look up to. They found an awesome non-binary character voice in the river and I'm so happy about how it turned out. So Lindsay and Amor also shared the photos of River's shoes, uh, Pete River's non-binary transgender kicks. But this is basically trying to push the LGBTQ to uh, unto uh, kids at an early age and uh, kids do not need to learn that if you really want to feel like uh, you are a gay person or uh, lesbian or you're a bisexual or think you need to be a transgender person uh, that's where you decide uh, at an uh, older age kids uh, need to focus on uh, and just enjoy life and then at school you need to learn about the uh, language studies like over here in uh, North America you learn English Canada you learn uh, French because uh, Quebec and uh, 
because there was that French influence. And then, uh, of course, uh, you have to learn the math. And it gets advanced uh, when you go into high school. And then, uh, and then you want to learn the sciences. And then you want to know like, the history of the country. And then, of course, the world history, they only show you like some parts. But if you really want to learn uh, world history, there's much more than that. So you want to go to the National Geographic or uh, a really a uh, historian website, then you can learn more than that. Or you can talk with a person from a different culture. And then you can really learn from someone from that culture. Instead of just uh, assuming that the, we're learning just some parts, oh, Egyptian pyramid, World War One, World War Two, uh, that happened. Uh, we participated in this war. That that kind of stuff. No, that is not how it, it works. No. No, that is not how it works. And also, you need to learn uh, geography, uh, which uh, you can be end up in a geography major. And also uh, arts. So if you uh, want to be like an artist or you like to be a musician, uh, you're gonna have to, like, go to all that. Or also uh, drama dance, uh, which of course uh, the arts uh, you need to uh, go through uh, some extra stuff, not just uh, college and university. Or you can uh, go into like an uh, arts uh, program. Because you see uh, be famous people that you sort of idolize. Uh, but those people, they uh, went through some extra steps. And it's not easy as you think it looks. Just saying. So kids need to really focus on language studies, math, sciences, history, geography. And the arts and they don't need to focus on uh, what gender they are pronouns because uh, that is because uh, there are countries uh, on uh, Eastern Hem Hemisphere Europe Asia and Africa that they focus on other stuff they don't focus on pronouns or what gender you are and uh, they focus on just about everything else and that's how uh, they are more advanced uh, in uh, things compared to uh, things over in uh, what the USA thinks is important and that's why uh, they, they think uh, RuPaul's uh, drag race is stupid And uh, while the uh, USA thinks that uh, Africa is a third world country, uh, it's because the uh, Europeans stole all the resources from uh, African countries and left them with nothing. Never think about that. That is part of world history that people need to learn that it's not uh, that uh, Africa just grew up poor. It's because what the Europeans did to them. That's world history that you need to learn. And if you ask uh, an African about uh, being transgender or gender identity, they'll think you're stupid. Because you're acting stupid. You're being a sheep. Whether you are a leftist or a right, rightist party. Stop focusing on uh, gender identity or that LGBTQ and focusing on uh, what you need to learn to be a successful person in life. Stop grooming kids. And no, it's not a Democratic uh, Party thing. It, there are uh, Republic, Republican uh, people also uh, pushing this. We just don't hear about this much because uh, Republicans 
Republicans and uh, Democratic people, they say some things that aren't true and aren't true. They just try to hide things uh, just to make people vote for them or try to hate each other instead of being middle ground or try to make the USA a better place and make better cartoons. Uh, no one got offended back in uh, Tom and Jerry or Looney Tunes days, did we? Even though uh, there was some stuff that was offensive to women or Native Americans or African Americans. Remember those days? No one got offended. Even though 1% uh, may have uh, got uh, offended. The not the 99 didn't. Don't groom kids. Keep LGBT out of cartoons and TV shows. Leave that to uh, adult shows. This is all USA influence. USA is to blame for this.